The U.S. Department of the Treasury claims that the economy has surpassed expectations, citing growing economic output, increased market resilience, and slowing inflation as key factors. However, despite these assertions, the reality of the current financial climate for the average American contradicts the government's claims of economic resilience. Before going any further, make sure to subscribe and leave us a like below this video. The future of the U.S. economy appears bleaker than portrayed by the government. Bank closures are on the rise, and retailers are being forced to shutter many branches as we enter 2024. What were once thriving U.S. high streets now resemble desolate ghost towns, as America grapples with the looming threat of another financial crash. Many banks and retailers are closing locations to reduce expenses and mitigate the problems arising from an impending economic crisis. Over the past two decades, the number of brick-and-mortar banks in the U.S. has nearly halved, a trend showing little sign of slowing down. Data from S&P Global Market Intelligence reveals that between 2022 and 2023, almost 5,000 bank locations in America permanently closed. In 2023 alone, two banking giants, PNC Financial Services Group and U.S. Bank, shut down one in ten of their branches. This marks the 14th consecutive year of a significant decrease in banks on U.S. high streets. The increase in branch closures is partly driven by the banking industry's shift towards prioritizing online services over traditional locations, disproportionately affecting low-income neighborhoods and rural areas. This shift has led to the emergence of banking deserts, where access to essential banking services is increasingly challenging. Individuals in these communities may struggle to access financial resources and support. While many financial institutions embrace digital platforms to survive, this transition comes at a cost, impacting both customers and employees. With fewer high street banks, job opportunities dwindle, exacerbating economic challenges for communities across the country. According to recent reports from the Financial Times, last year witnessed a staggering 60,000 job cuts in U.S. banks, marking one of the most severe periods of layoffs since the 2007 financial crisis. This surge in job losses has significantly contributed to the employment crisis in the U.S., with a total of 3.1 million jobs lost across all sectors from November 2022 to 2023. Unfortunately, the situation appears to be worsening for both America and its citizens, suggesting that this figure may continue to rise. The challenges extend beyond job losses. U.S. banks are also experiencing a troubling decline in the issuance of loans and leases by customers. Data from the Street Louis Federal Reserve Bank reveals a sharp drop in the annualized growth rate of loans and leases from commercial banks to just 0.3%, significantly lower than the 3.1% annualized inflation rate observed in November of the previous year. Loans are crucial for driving economic growth, and when consumers refrain from borrowing from banks, it often indicates a slowdown in economic activity and forebodes turbulent times ahead. Various factors, including economic uncertainties, regulatory pressures, and the repercussions of major global events, are straining the viability of many banking institutions. The closure of banks not only impacts local communities, but also raises concerns about the broader stability of the U.S. financial system. Regrettably, this narrative of job losses, closures, and uncertainty mirrors the challenges within the retail industry. In 2023, Numerous retailers shuttered their stores and filed for bankruptcy, driven partly by fears of an impending recession. Even renowned U.S. brands like Nike are feeling the strain of the economy's fragility. Nike plans to slash costs by a staggering $2 billion to weather these unstable times, signaling the severity of the current economic climate. The retail sector is witnessing a discernible trend as a growing number of companies succumb to mounting financial challenges leading to bankruptcy filings and business closures. Bed Bath & Beyond, for instance, filed for bankruptcy in early 2023, closing all 896 stores. Similarly, Fort Lair announced plans to close up to 420 flagship stores by 2026. Even pharmacy chains like Rite Aid, once boasting over 2,000 stores in the U.S., have succumbed to bankruptcy and signaled mass closures. American institutions such as Target, Gap, Walmart, and Macy's have also announced closures, 
underscoring the pervasive nature of the economic turmoil. This relentless wave of challenges seems unyielding, with little indication of abating anytime soon. While some attribute the decline of the traditional high street shopping experience to the ascent of online shopping, this narrative overlooks a parallel story unfolding in the digital retail realm. During the COVID-19 pandemic, online retailers experienced a surge in popularity as consumers relied heavily on remote shopping. However, this surge has subsided, and now many online retailers are grappling with their own set of challenges. Last year, Washington-based online retailer Zuli terminated the employment of over 800 employees and announced a going-out-of-business sale on December 9th, just seven months after changing ownership. This decision unfolded against a backdrop of mounting operational challenges, including rising costs, supply chain disruptions, and shifts in consumer spending habits. Running a retail business today is exceptionally challenging, with companies facing relentless financial pressure and little margin for error. Recent months have underscored a harsh reality. Escalating costs and declining consumer spending are causing significant financial strain for both online and offline retailers. These businesses, operating on tight margins, now navigate a landscape that is increasingly unpredictable and demanding. Why are retailers and banks struggling more than ever? The answer lies in the shifting financial landscape for the average American. Disposable income levels have stagnated, while the cost of living continues to soar. Housing costs have surged, making homeownership elusive for many, and rental prices have reached unprecedented heights. Essential expenses such as healthcare, education, and groceries have spiraled out of control, further squeezing household budgets. The rising costs of energy, transportation, and other daily necessities exacerbate financial hardships for citizens. This widening gap between income levels and the cost of living has become a pressing concern. In June 2022, the monthly inflation rate peaked at 9.1%, contributing to an annual inflation rate of 8%, the highest in decades. By September 2022, 34% of U.S. consumers reported difficulties in meeting their financial obligations. This confluence of high inflation rates and widespread financial challenges underscores the profound impact of economic fluctuations on the daily lives of Americans. It seems that America has descended into a perilous economic cycle where wages are increasingly outpaced by inflation, while the cost of living continues to soar. With little disposable income at their disposal, consumers are tightening their purse strings, avoiding spending and shying away from bank loans they fear they won't be able to repay. Consequently, both retailers and high street banks are finding it increasingly difficult to stay afloat amidst this seismic shift in consumer behavior. Many speculate that the government's insistence on portraying the economy as thriving stems from a desire to secure votes. A strong economy is synonymous with a successful government, which in turn translates to popularity among the electorate. The political narrative of financial prosperity becomes a potent tool for projecting a positive image that garners electoral support. However, beneath this facade lies a harsh reality for many Americans who grapple with the stark challenges of affordability. For these individuals, meeting basic needs such as food, heating, and healthcare remains a daily struggle casting doubt on the rosy portrayal of economic well-being. As the gap between the economic elite and the struggling lower class widens, skepticism grows regarding the true state of economic success. Many foresee the ominous possibility of yet another financial crash in 2024, echoing the fate experienced in 2007. Despite political assurances, the truth is that the U.S. economy is facing one of its most challenging periods in recent history. A palpable sense of apprehension looms in the collective consciousness of America, with many beginning to anticipate the looming specter of total economic collapse. Should this occur, it would signal the demise of the once vibrant American high street. Make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and leave us a like below this video. Let us know your thoughts below.